<laughs> well, here we are again. Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 20. Ah. The title screen is going. Has a mind of its own. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartender Action. Oh, last time we just got through the mega Christmas party, and that part was pretty neat. And now I am faced with this pretty arduous task of getting rent money of $10,000 in four days. Uh, it's gonna be what it's like to have my own place. Anyway, pretty sure we already looked at everything. Oh, augmented eye. I'm pretty sure we look. Yeah, we looked at that. I remember reading the tacky body suits. Blah blah blah. We wouldn't believe what happens. Oh yeah. Yeah. So we looked at everything. I don't know why the augmented eyes thing is. Or whatever. Go to work. Monday, December twenty-sixth. Yawn. Good evening. Hey, Jill. Gil is in the back sorting an ingredients shipment, and I've got things to do. The dog's in charge. Okay, bye. What's the dog in charge? We have seniority. Wait, the dog what? Okay, first order. Pet me. <laughs> no. Pet me. No. I'm in charge, and I want you to pet me. I'm never going to be a dog person, huh? Hey, Jay. Won't pet you. He'll pet me sooner or later. <laughs> they all do. I would pet him. Won't. Will. You called? He said Will, not Gil. Ah. Excuse me. Who is Will? Nobody. Don't be rude with poor Will. There's no Will. Do you need me to psych you up? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was good. Shut up! Who? Me or Will? Ah! You, go back to whatever you were doing. Alright. And you, stand by. Oh man, that was great. Go! What just happened? Well, aren't we spirited today? Welcome to Valhalla, Virgilio. Why do you sound so weirded out? Well, maybe it's because you didn't go jabbering on about entering the Hall of Heroes or whatever it is you say when you walk in here. You didn't show up with a bombastic soliloquy. Yeah, there you go. Well, putting up an act can be tiring, you know? So it's all an act then? Wasn't it obvious? I guess. Would you mind getting me a Bleeding Jane? Oh my god, he asked for it like a normal person. Oh yeah, and I opted not to buy Jill's whatever it was that she wanted. So she said she'll be distracted. And I guess... I guess we know what that means now. Did I leave enough food for four at home? Yeah, alright. We'll be okay though, because I have an impeccable memory. Time. Ta da! A bleeding Jane. So, something I didn't know before I played this game is that Virgilio is based on this bit that Jim Sterling would do. It comes across way better in video. Like, I thought he was humorous then, as opposed to just kind of annoying in the previous interactions. So you're tired of putting on an act. Care to explain? It's a long story, and I'd honestly rather not talk about it right now. Fair enough. What made you change your mind, though? Well, for one thing, it's safer for me now. The pompous buffoon act was mostly a way to avoid raising suspicion. It's safer? There's a word that's been losing meaning lately. Wait, that was your way of avoiding suspicion? Yes. You do know how weird that sounds, right? 
It sounds weird. You try not to raise up suspicion, but you act in a bombastic manner that screams you're there, hiding in plain sight. And everyone dismisses the fool as a buffoon and moves on. Eh? I mean, you might be right if I were talking about hiding myself. But I'm only avoiding certain crowds of people. Yes, my behavior might call everyone's attention, but then everyone just decides I'm harmless and disregards me. And depending on how erratic my actions are, they become harder to read. <laughs> and that is why you have a question mark eyebrow hair. Giving me yet another layer of enigma. I huh. Well, congrats. No offense, but I fell right into your trap. So did I. I just dismissed your actions as those of a fool and moved on. You completely fooled me. Thanks. <laughs> Say, can you get me something spicy? Sure. A pizza with double cheese and wait, no, this is a bar. Okay, this is actually pretty funny. I wanted something spicy. Uh, we're not gonna give him the, uh, bloom light because that one looks gross. I feel like giving something but I don't know. I feel like drinks that are brown. Alright, that's a bad example. It's more so it's some variety of brown. But I don't imagine it being like a super brown thing. I am off track in my thoughts here. I'm going to choose to abandon that line of thinking. Anyway, Mars Blast. It's out of this world. I hope I make them right, otherwise they'll have to deliver a total loophole. <laughs> Here. Aren't you fascinated by spiciness? What's spicy for humans might not be spicy for other animals. Well, yeah. What's toxic for, toxic for us might not be for other creatures. Or not toxic is toxic for, like, dogs and not being able to have chocolate. Do you like spicy things, bartender? I don't mind them, I guess, but I'm not really a fan. I don't know, it messes with my stomach, and I don't like it that much. That neutral stance is actually weird to come across. Everyone either loves spicy stuff, or hates them with a, pa hates them with a passion. Do you like it? Lots, not only in regards to the painfully spices, but all sp painfully spices, spicy things, but also the mild or slight spice that adds to a meal. I always have this dream of opening a curry stand. But curry, curry into me, it's not open. <laughs> I'm so stupid. As things are, I might actually pursue that dream. Let me know if you do. I haven't had curry in ages now. Hey, bartender. Call me Joe. I want to do apologize. Hmm? You put up with me all this time without lashing out. I should apologize for my behavior and thank you at that. Well, there was the one time that we yelled at you. Don't worry, I feel like I was too rude to you the last time you came. Well, you were bummed out, so there's that. Granted, you came at a really bad time. I should be the one apologizing. You're our client, after all. Jill is so professional. It is astounding. Well, don't. I'm actually surprised that no one else had violently lashed out at me. Hit. You're making me curious as to who you really are, though. Is Virgilio even your real name? It might be, it might not. Sometimes I wonder if I'm a magnet for people who hide their identities and sordid pests. Gil, Jamie, you, Jamie doesn't really hide his, does he? He has openly talked about being an assassin. Did you say something? Just rambling, pay me no mind. Now that I think about it, how did you find this bar? Sorry, I got slightly distracted here. Alright. I was avoiding some traps and came to this alley. Huh. Again. Again. In my time here, I've, avo I've heard avoided people and ended up here enough times to make me believe that the original owner built the bar thinking about the runaway public. <laughs> oh man. You make me sound like a criminal. Well, we don't know. You're not helping. The expression runaway doesn't just mean escaping the law, though. We had people avoiding stalkers or solicitors. 
I've seen people more shocked by an ins insistent salesman than a shady figure. Maybe because the salesman is a more active predator? <laughs> I don't know. A troublesome part of the city right near the shopping district. Let's them, let them know that there's a bar and they'll come. Sorry, I should stop rambling to myself so much. Does she do that when she's distracted too? Like, she'll start talking to herself more? I don't mind it. Do you think that's so, I'm some sort of criminal though? Like I said, you're not helping. But for all I know, you might be the buffoon I've seen the other days. In any case, can I get something bitter here? Right, the other was, I'd like to say, a rabbit. He wants something bitter. It's okay, Jane. I'm here to help. Please leave time. Got a theme with these drinks I've been giving them that they've all been blended. Bitter promo blend. All right, there we go. This works. Do you like coffee, Miss Bartender? As weird as it may sound from a smoking, bar smoking bartender, no, I don't. Well, I get it. It's not for everyone. That cat boomer the other day. What about her? Still scared of her? Not really, but she looks so familiar. Maybe you're mixing her up with another cat boomer? No, that's not it. It's like the bandaged girl last time. Even with the bandages, there's something really familiar about her. Maybe you need to stop thinking about it. Answers usually come to you when you stop stressing out. You might be right. Well, I'll leave you for now, bartender. Thanks for everything. Oh, that was nice. Please come again. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hello, Mr. Detective. You again? And here we are, another mute person wandering into the bar. Anything I can get you? Gut punch. Okay. Did I leave in a f Oh, I wish they did the uh, thing a little bit more, with a little more variety. She already said that. Here. Oh, you got it right. So, what's up now? A bit of holiday blues, you could say. So you celebrate Mega Christmas? Why wouldn't I? You look more like the Festivus kind of guy. <laughs> Is that a Seinfeld joke? Because he looks like George? <laughs> Actually, why am I? that's almost certainly what it is, considering the tone that this game has with its references. Why does everyone keep saying that? While Festivus is a celebration going against the capitalist madness that is Mega Christmas. And you know, cheapskate. <laughs> if you have something to say, say it. I'll refrain. Although now that I think about it, Holiday Blues is not really tied to a specific celebration. Just the season. The season of consumerist craze. Mega Christmas is just a mockery of what the real Christmas once was. I mean, the season has slowly become enslaved to the corporation over time. Holiday spirit can only be manipulated so much. Then came that turbo male guy. He started a, a yearly tradition of dressing like Santa in the ring. T turbo male? That can't be his ring name. Is this a boxer or a wrestler? It is. I imagine probably wrestler, but they have more bombastic things going on. At least such a tacky game was accepted. <laughs> his partner was Buster Master, and his rival was Dr. Chris Max. Tacky names were not a problem. I mean, I knew there were a wrestler that dressed as Santa every year. Well, there's my answer. I was in with that guy being insanely popular, popular, and the stunt got out of control. And of course, that's the part everyone sings about. That's a Christmas carol? What? Santa became Nega Santa? 
Thank, thanks to the Redman family, Mega Santa sees the error of his ways and becomes the mighty Mega Santa, renaming the holiday to Mega Christmas. What is what is going on? What the, the lore of this holiday is fascinating. And then every company jumped on the bandwagon and Christmas was Mega Christmas before anyone noticed. So you're telling me that that guy who somehow managed to rename the holiday went by the ring name Turbo Mail. Yep. That makes, a whole holiday. that makes the whole holiday sound like a joke. The holiday is a joke. And you're telling me you don't celebrate Festivus. No, I don't. Do you know what kind of people celebrate Festivus? The kind that's so lame and bland they can only talk about how they're better because they celebrate Festivus. <laughs> oh man. Like those jerks who only eat nuke and think they're better than Let's see. Anything else I can get you? Give me a fringe beaver, please. Sure. Stop thinking about that joke. I, I wish I knew what the joke was. Issues with the city lately? What's the word on the street? Shouldn't I be asking that? There's nothing new, really. The lynchings of the White Knights stopped? That's good. So there's that. Really? Something about the armor. I haven't got much on that one yet. All in all, the madness following the attack on the bank seems to have settled down a bit. That's good to hear. Have any other details about the attack emerged yet? All records of whatever happened there have been long deleted. Security cams, system logs, everything is wiped. Whatever happened there has become even more of a mystery now. I wonder if Psy plans on testifying. I don't know why I did that. Does anyone know if Psy went in there in the first place? Maybe the wiping of everything actually protects her somehow. Hey bartender, you okay? Sorry, I just got distracted. There's not much to say, really. There's the odd silly rumor here and there. Like the vending machine's tasers malfunctioning and applying more strength. Uh oh. Or that the writer of The Last Rain in the World is actually living here as a brain in a jar. <laughs> but those are the kind of rumors that you hear from crackheads. We actually met a brain in a jar, though. Crackheads might hold at least one piece of info you need, but you also hear stuff like that. I see. Anyway, I'm leaving. Happy New Year, bartender. Please come again. Okay, then. Um... Bah. Oh, wait, no, she's out. Gil, you there? Yeah, taking your break? Let me know if someone comes in. Alright, I've got someone on the way to... How long ago was that? That was... Well, I will save it. So I think I'm gonna split the recording here anyway. So... Yeah.